everybody, and welcome to Dry Days Art Studio. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for being here today. Well, in this video, I'm going to work on about four coasters for you that I made all with products used out of the Didi May art box. That is my latest art box. It is available now. It's selling fast. Uh, there's five different variations of boxes that you can get or to choose from. So head over to dryerdaysartstudio.com to get your box today. Don't wait. They are selling out and when they're gone, they are gone. So we're going to jump right in here and start a coaster. I wanted to sort of base this box off of April showers brings May flowers. So you're going to kind of see a theme. There's going to be a lot of flowers going on. I also bought these butterflies that I thought were very much this time of year with spring and you're seeing them outside. They're just beautiful and I wanted to incorporate those in here too. So uh, we're starting off with this first coaster, just a clear layer of resin to begin getting all the bubbles out and you can see up there what we're going to be using. You're going to get a sample of my gold leaf. So we're going to use some of that. You are going to get 30 milliliters each of the white and of Rosie Goldie and Rosie Goldie is actually sold out right now in my store. So um, if you want to get some, the art box is the only place to get some right now. And we're also going to use the baby pink mica pigment, which is a brand new pigment to my store. It is beautiful and that has been selling very quickly too. You can get all of these products individualized in my store. So I'm going to link the box and then I will link all the products individually in the video description as well. Like if you already have some of these pastes and you really don't want them, but you want some gold leaf, uh, you can get all those links down in the description. I also have a pretty full and active Amazon store where you can find all of my favorite products like the gloves I use, the popsicle sticks I use, measuring cups, uh, my heat gun, etc. So make sure you check out the video description if you need some tools and supplies or if you want to pick up this fabulous box. So as you can see, we're just starting with a little bit of gold leaf right in the middle here. Here is that baby pink in action. Absolutely beautiful. This is one of my favorite pinks. I'm so glad I found this. It took me a really long time to get this perfect light pink. It's so beautiful. This is the rosy goldie, just mixing it up because it's separated a little bit in the jar. This is a beautiful rose gold, very, very warm color. Here it is mixed with resin, so pretty. And then of course we're gonna use the white as well. Beautiful opaque matte white. This white gets awesome cells, beautiful lacing. It is the best white I have found. And I'm just gonna come in here in a circular motion with each of these colors, starting with the baby pink. And then we're gonna do some white here. So satisfying, <laughs> so beautiful. And this round mold is four inches wide about in diameter. Here's the rosy goldie. And this mold is super, super deep. So you can get beautiful, deep, thick coasters or make them as thin as you want. It's totally up to you. And we can see here the pigments kind of started sliding a little bit and moving. So I'm going to put a little popsicle stick under my, uh, my ceramic tile here. I'm doing this on a ceramic tile, which was nice and flat. Uh, but my table was not exactly level. So you can see things are moving a little bit here. And I'm just going to kind of keep going around with a little bit of my pigmented resin, filling out this flower a little bit more. And at the very end here, we will put a little bit more of gold leaf right on top in the center. And we will let this little guy cure here. All right, this is 48 hours later. I'm gonna demold. Beautiful melding of the colors. You can see this backside kind of became a little bit of a splotch. We kind of lost the gold leaf there, but here it really popped through. You can see that rosy goldie is almost floating on the top of this coaster here. Look at that reflection, it's so pretty. And I think it did get a really pretty flowery look, but we're gonna keep playing here. We're gonna keep creating a couple more things. I'm gonna start off with a nice clear layer here on the left. Now you are only gonna get one mold. Obviously, because I manufactured these, I get these in. I have a bunch of them, so I'm gonna be doing a couple at the same time here just to give you guys a bunch of different looks and techniques and variations. And on the right here, we're gonna use a tiny, tiny bit of that Fairwinds glitter that you're gonna get in the box. And we're gonna add that to clear resin. You're also gonna get some beautiful birthday cake glitter that's gonna be the center of our next flower. 
I'm gonna use one of the silicone brushes that you're also going to get in the box. You're gonna get five of them there, you can see. I'm just going to slowly come around and pop any bubbles that we might have in there. Using my tweezers, I'm gonna apply some of that birthday cake glitter right in the middle here. This glitter is beautiful. It's round shaped, multi-sized, gorgeous warm colors that just go perfectly with this box. They're like magenta, gold, uh, navies in there too. It's just a, a beautiful glitter. And I love the round shape. It really gives us a different look. And I thought with the round shape of the mold here, it would be a nice accent. Okay, so now I've used some of the white pigment paste and I gotta give a shout out here to Tish from Naptime Creations. She has a YouTube channel, she's got Instagram, she's got TikTok, go look her up, go find her. I follow her on everything. She follows me back, she's also an affiliate. Um, and she does the best flowers and I just don't. <laughs> I This is not my bag, this is not my forte, um, but I give it the old college try all the time anyway. So trying to kind of follow a technique that I've seen her do a couple times and just trying my hand at it. It's not going very well, but I will say I think this flower came out really cute. It's a really cute abstract looking flower. You'll see it here at the end. It's beautiful put in this clear resin with the little birthday cake glitter in the center. Um, but yeah, this, you know, if you want to find somebody who's really good at this, go check out Tish. I will link her down in the description as well so you can find her on YouTube. Um, but yeah, so just uh, going through here, adding some white, using my silicone brushes to do so. And you only need a tiny bit of white resin, white mixed in clear resin to make these. Uh, you don't need a ton of white at all. Less is more, I have found, in the case of the flowers. What little, what little I know. <laughs> and then adding just a little bit more of the birthday cake glitter on top. So here is this one all done about 24 hours later. And I do think it looks pretty cool. Very wispy, beautiful. That glitter looks so cool in there. And now we're going to work back on the one on the right here. So this has also cast after about 24 hours. So it's nice and firm. And I have picked two butterflies out. Now I'm using the, the multicolored pack of butterflies. You get to pick from the multicolored, which I'm using here or blue, green, purple, or orange, and you get 40 stickers in each pack. So you get a ton of butterfly stickers to pick from. I chose these two because I like that they were kind of um, really earthy, but also kind of warm because I thought that would look beautiful with the Fairwinds glitter. And after I peel off the back, I'm gonna be very careful not to get any of my hand oil here. So actually using my silicone brush to seal down the edges of this butterfly. And I'm gonna use the back hard end too, just to make sure we're really down in there. There's no air pockets or anything. And then the silicone edge on this brush really gives a nice flush finish so that we have the sticker right up there against the resin base coat here. And now we have the bigger one. These are really, really, pretty stickers so I know even my girls were like going gaga for them so now I have all these I have 38 more butterfly stickers that I can use in other projects and actually now my girls have some stickers too that they can play with Okay, so I am gonna do a flood coat too over those butterflies now that they're in there and I'm gonna do a new layer over here. We're gonna do another flower. Yep, I'm back at it thinking I can just nail this flower thing. <laughs> God. Um, and so yeah, now over here too, we're gonna do a flood coat to really seal in these beautiful butterflies here. Just making sure we're nice and flush before I pour that resin in. Again, don't touch this with a bare hand because we don't want to get any dimpling or pockets or anything. We want that to be oil free. I'm just going to have a beautiful clear coat in there now. So I'm going to do this flower a little bit differently. I'm going to add my gold leaf here to this clear layer, get it right where I want it. And I am going to let that cure. And so now that has cured. This is the next day. So that is a hard layer in there now. That is not wet resin down there with the gold leaf in it. And I'm taking a tiny bit of Fairwinds again. I'm gonna add it to clear resin and I'm gonna pour that in to that mold on the left. All right, so there you can see I have a tiny bit of white paste mixed with resin and you only need again like I said a tiny bit so what I like to do is let's say for that coat that I just did I mixed up two ounces of resin I will use almost all of it uh, that I mixed there with the fair winds and then just save a tiny bit and mix a tiny bit of white paste in there to make my flower so this was a technique I had used before where I kind of put it in the center and come out 
but it didn't really look like it was working too well. So I decided to try to form some petals coming out from the center here to give us more of a flower shape. All right, and this is the next day. We're ready to demold this. These molds are just phenomenal. They're so durable, they're beautiful. Look at how nice and thick this is now. Two layers of resin, beautiful. We're gonna do a gold edging on there. I'll show you guys in a little bit. And then here is this one all done. I think that's a pretty cool flower. And I really like that we did the gold leaf first because that really made it pop out and stand out and be kind of even like a layering effect. Just gonna sand my edges here so they're not too sharp and we have a beautiful smooth edge. I'm gonna use my alcohol prep pads to really get all the dust and debris off there afterwards. Those are also in my Amazon store. I get huge packs of them, they last forever and they are a staple in my studio. You're also gonna get this gold marker in your box as well. This box is just chock full of goodies. A couple extra surprises in there for you too. You need to get these pens started by pushing down on the nib. And as you see there, we had a little bit of an explosion. That can happen. That's why I always kind of do it off to the side first. Uh, but I'm just going to keep going in and dip, dip the nib into that little pool of uh, paint there. And that way we won't waste any. And just giving these a beautiful gold edge. I think it really finishes all of these off and really pulled them together well. I think if I had left them undone, they wouldn't have looked as nice. I'll probably do an edge too on that very first flower that I did because I think that would look really pretty, the gold with the birthday cake glitter in there as well. This is just a really beautiful warm pink gold themed box. So I hope you guys enjoy this box. Remember to head over to dryerdaysartstudio.com to get yours or check the video description below. It will be linked down there. I appreciate you guys watching so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I also have about 10 more minutes of bonus material for my patrons over on Patreon. Uh, they give a monthly donation and they get bonus content once or twice a month, as well as other incentives depending on the tier that you join. So thank you to all my patrons so much. If you are watching, you guys got bonus content, so go check that out. Thank you guys again so much. Come find me on Instagram at dryerdays. I'm not very good at TikTok, but come find me, Dryer Days Resin Art Studio. Again, everything will be linked below. Thank you guys so much, and until next time, keep on pouring.